you that has been requested so much. So I've had these feather hair extensions on for almost two weeks. Um, I was about to take them off, but I said, no, no, no. I'm going to let my hair rest for a week or so from extensions. So I decided that before I take them off, I wanted to do a tutorial for you guys and um, post it before I actually, you know, gave my hair a rest over here. So uh, I'm going to show you all how to get these feather hair extensions installed. I'm not going to do a whole head full of extensions only because everybody's going to have a different style. So I'm going to show you how I install them and then you can kind of just put them wherever you feel you know is right. Not to mention there's a lot of colors to choose from. So you see that I have the pinks, the greens, um, I also have some human hair extensions installed as well and I'm going to show you all how to get those going as well. So let's get this started because it is going to be a little time consuming and I don't want to talk too much and not get to it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all what I did with the hair extensions. Um, as far as the hair extensions go, I went to the beauty store, got the clip and hair extensions that are human hair so that I could curl them and do all that good stuff. And they'll kind of look like this, but much chunkier, maybe about seven times this amount. They'll come in a clip, so what you would want to do is just cut them. Grab your scissor, cut them from the clip. Don't get too much hair, only because then it won't go through the micro link that we will be putting them in. And then you want to take your fusion um, heat wand get some Italian keratin and heat it up just like that. They'll come in little squares or whatnot and you can get these at you know your local beauty store. They probably won't be the Italian keratin but it's not really important because you won't be doing that celebrity fusion hair extension. I've done that once. It was really nice but it's very time consuming and that's really when it matters on the quality that you're getting as far as the keratin goes. Another positive thing with the Italian keratin, it doesn't really burn your fingers like the one they sell at the beauty store. So, okay, so you want to go ahead and just apply a small amount of that keratin right on the tip of the hair extension here. Just make sure it's nice and melted so that all the hair is nice and secure and you don't get any loosies in there. And then you want to just roll it. And it's, I mean, it would be burning my fingers right now if it was like a Sally's keratin. So I pretty much did that, cut it in half so that it's not all messy looking. And that's what's going to be going inside the micro link. And it'll make it a lot easier rather than doing other methods. So now you're going to be purchasing from where I got my feather hair extensions. And let me tell you, I tried a few places. But not all feathers are equal in quality. I realized that. So I was really upset that I bought more from one place than the other because I ended up liking the eBay store a little bit more. The buyer that I went with was, um, the eBay name was Jenk, Jenk, J-E-N-K 617. So I saw that they had custom hair, feather hair extensions and I really kind of geared more towards that because my hair is really long and a lot of other places that sell the feathers kind of give you a pack of eight and they don't guarantee that you're going to get short lengths or long lengths. They all just kind of vary, which I really wasn't fond of because they're expensive for one. And for two, my hair is long. So if I get only eight inch feathers, you probably will never even see them because they'll go right about here. And I don't like that. I want my feathers to kind of just look long. And that's another reason why I added the uh, hair extensions along with it so that they kind of blend in and just create a really, really well put together look. I was looking through a lot of pictures and I saw that a lot of people just wear the feathers by themselves. But knowing me, you know, Janice has to do her own creative thing going on. So I added some, you know, colored hair extensions, with, which I think just really brought it together. I get tons of compliments with the feathers. I never thought I would, but I did. And I'm really happy about it. I want to let my hair rest for another week and then I'll probably apply some more of the neutrals, which I have tons. I'll just grab a handful right here because they're... They're really loose, but there's tons of feathers, and as you can see, they're like oranges, white and blacks, and natural tones mostly. What you do is you place your order, obviously, at the eBay store. They give you the feather hair extensions. They also give you the little loop with the micro links. They, she also sends you um, these really, really small micro links as well. That's for the fringe, and then she sends you a couple of fringe, you know, sized... Uh, uh, feathers to go right in the hair and I have a couple right here as you can see I have the purple white and black another purple over there so they really come in handy because um, you'll need these so that your hair just looks flowy and then um, that's pretty much all you need what I really liked about the custom feather hair extensions is that 
a lot of places would just sell them individually, which means just like this. So with the custom feather hair extensions and this girl I found on eBay, she grabs whatever you want. So if you tell her you want long, medium, and short, whatever, she'll add them and make them into a really nice, you know, combo. And then she adds them all together here. I'm just going to add some random ones. Just like that. And then she'll pre-bond them for you. So you don't have to worry about heating them. And then they'll just go right in to the microlink, which makes it really easy rather than installing one by one or two by two and it gets a little tricky. You can do that too, but it will be time consuming. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> so, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and apply one fringe um, feather. I'll just put this hair back. I'm going to grab a green one only because I have a lot of pink going on. So I'm going to grab a green one. I'm going to go ahead and take my little loop, put my two fingers through it just like that. Okay, so then you want to grab like a little piece of hair, maybe about 8 to 10 pieces. Make sure it's not messy and you don't have any other hairs around. Now, I do have to say this. Uh, my mirror is like a mile away from me. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm really doing it perfect, but I'm taking them off anyway to let my hair breathe um, in a couple of days. So it doesn't matter. But you want to grab your hair just like this with your fingers. You have your hand through the loop. Put it through the loop just like this. Just like this. I don't know if you can really see it on camera. Then pull on it with your two fingers. Grab the little link. Run it through. Okay. Your little link's still in there. It's really small too so you don't want to grab too much hair because then you won't be able to get the feather in and your hair in there at the same time. And then go ahead and take your feather, make sure it's going in the same direction as your hair, otherwise it'll be looking crazy. It'll be looking like alfalfa but with a feather. <laughs> then I'm going to take my pliers, which, you know, are especially made for the extensions. You can get these anywhere you're going to buy your extensions or on eBay or whatnot. And then you want to go ahead and just squeeze it so it's nice and secure not too hard now I can't say this enough because if you push really hard on that on that little micro link you're not securing the feather more let me tell you you're just gonna break your hair so do not like over squeeze thinking you want it to just stay there I'm gonna go ahead and take my bigger micro link which is the silicone one and that way your hair is more secure take about six to ten pieces of hair just like this grab my loop oh, right there. there we go so my mirror is like a million miles away I'm sorry if you can't see perfect but there it is I'm going to take my pliers, move it all the way up, press, don't press too hard, remember, because it will break your hair, so you're not necessarily securing it more, you're just going to hurt your hair and damage it. So there's a feather, you see, so that's pretty much how they go, and you can do them in like threes or twos, and you can tell her how you want her to bond them or whatnot, and that's what she'll do for you. And then, see, that feather's going crazy until I turn it the right way. So if you don't position them the way you, your hair, you know, naturally goes or the way you like to fix it, they'll just stand crazy like that. <laughs> so I kind of turn my hair to this side so it'll be fine. I hope. <laughs> so um, another set of extension that I bought from the same eBay seller is a custom one that she makes. And this one is kind of like tons of feathers and it also has like beads on it which is really nice because I really love the bling. And uh, she has, you know, a really high quality feather going right through the center. She put different ones right there, another set right in there which is really cute and then really beautiful ones right in the front and I'll show you that which is really nice. I mean this is gorgeous it's beyond words gorgeous so this one cannot be you know taken in the shower to wash your hair and all that so you have to apply this one with the um, smaller links and that way you remove them when you're gonna go in the shower 
So it has to be removed because they will not last and they have some silver stuff on them too. So I will show you how to apply those. So I'm going to apply my custom feather hair extension with my bigger micro link with the silicone on it only because it has a bigger hole and that will fit there. You will have to remove it though when you take a shower only because they cannot go in water only because it does have some silver in it or some stainless steel that can go bad. So you definitely don't want to take them with you in the shower. As soon as you're done wearing them for the day or for the, you know, if you wash your hair every other day, wear it for the two days and then take them off and then you can reapply them later when you're ready to show them off again. <laughs> Put it right through the hole. Just like so. Grab my plier. It gets tricky when you have to do it on your own. So if you have help, it'll be much easier. Remember not to push too hard. You'll regret it. I did it once. <laughs> I'm telling you I did it once. So there it is. It looks really beautiful. As you can see, it does have the beads, the really nice feathers. Um, you can kind of turn them and that way you see the nice lime green in there and the pink and all that stuff. So you can kind of play with them if you'd like. And that's pretty much that. Okay, so that's pretty much the way I install my extensions and I think it looks really good. I think that, you know, having just one of these um, custom, you know, blingy kind of feathers is enough because if I had them in both, I don't, th I think it would be a little too much, but I really, really do like them. Um, now you can kind of just iron them, uh, you can wash them, you can wear them for about three to four weeks depending on how fast your hair grows. Um, I would suggest sticking to one area or not applying too many all around the head only because then it will make it a lot harder to brush your hair. Um, only because the micro links are growing, your hair is in between, it will get caught, it will hurt. So you definitely have to be gentle when you know wearing these and you can't just go yanking on your hair crazy or anything like that. Um, you definitely have to take care of them and that way you can you know keep reusing them, wash them, you know lay them flat to dry. Personally, I think they look awesome, and thank you all so much for watching, for subscribing, for all of the support. I greatly appreciate it. I really do. Thank you all so very much. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I, I love it, and I'm very happy that I was able to share it with you all. I really, really do love the feathers, and I think it's just awesome, especially for me that I don't put any, you know, highlights on my hair or anything like that. It's, it's really a different look and I think they're beautiful. So I hope you all found it helpful. Enjoy your day. Be blessed and thank you all so, so much. I will talk to you all very soon and that's pretty much it. So see you all later. Take care. That's why I warned you guys, and look, I'm warning you guys, and I got burned. So with all of that being said, oof, I talk a lot. Gosh, with my luck, it won't be recording, and I will not add any more, because it's looking kind of pink. <laughs>